This video is about how to install Windows 11 in VirtualBox 6. So this is a VirtualBox peak at Win 11. VirtualBox, or VB, allows you to play and experiment with different operating systems, or OSs. With VB Virtual Machines, VMs, you magically teach yourself different OSs without corrupting or damaging your host computer. By tweaking the Windows registry, you can run Windows 11 and VirtualBox 6 without the additional required hardware. In the future, VB7 may run Win11 easily, but for now, you can experiment running Win11 in your current version of VirtualBox. Outcomes for this video would be to download Windows 11, configure VirtualBox for Windows 11 Virtual Machine, configure Windows 11 Registry to run without the required hardware, then install Windows 11 in VirtualBox, and finally install VirtualBox Guest Editions in Windows 11 Virtual Machine. Requirements, a minimum, VirtualBox install, three, four gigabyte of RAM on your host computer, but I recommend you go for at least eight gigabyte of RAM, free two cores on your CPU for the Windows 11 virtual machine, and finally, an internet connection. Of course, I've got some additional info, and here's all the software used in video production, and here's a disclaimer. While I have researched this material, I can't fully verify that it will work with all combinations of hardware and software out, so I've included a disclaimer. If you wish, you can stop the video and read the disclaimer. In order to install Windows 11 in your VirtualBox, you're going to have to go to the Windows download page, in which case it's right here, microsoft.com software download slash Windows 11. Once you're there, you're going to have to head toward the bottom of the page because the installation media that you want is an ISO file. And right here it says download Windows 11 disk image ISO. Select the download. Windows 11 multi-edition ISO. Now one thing that may happen in the future is Microsoft may change the look of this page, the address of this page, or the options on this page. But if they do, the one thing that you're going to need is an ISO file to work with VirtualBox. So let's click on download. And now we've got a choice here. Select product language. Choose one. My choice is going to be English, United States, and you'll see there's a number of different languages there. Click Confirm. And so now I've got a choice here, Windows 11 English 64-bit download. So click right here. And in my case, I've got, I'm going to put in Project Install Win and Files directory. Click Save. You're going to have to remember where this is at because you're going to need that information when you're working with VirtualBox. Now, if you look down here at the bottom, it says three minutes left, the bottom left here, and it says 5.2 gigabyte. So that's going to take a while depending on your download speed. Now, when it's finished downloaded, I'll come back. Now the file is almost downloaded. I've got about four seconds left. And if you see zero seconds, you're going to have to wait till the zero disappears before it's totally completely downloaded. Okay, there it is. That's it. And that's all there is to downloading the file. In the next section, I'm going to cover how to set up a virtual machine for Windows 11. Here I am in VirtualBox, and I'm going to create a new Win11 virtual machine. And to do that, go up here where it says Machine, New, Create Virtual Machine, and ask for a name, and I'm going to call it Win11 sneak peek type Microsoft Windows now it came up automatically for me but it may not for you and then version Windows 11 64 bit click next now it says the recommended memory size is 4096 megabytes I found that it will work with 4096 megabytes but I would recommend that you add more so I'm going to add more because with 4096 megabytes it tends to be very slow so I'm going to go 8192 which is twice 406 click next 
screen a virtual hard disk and you'll notice the size is 80 gigabytes and I'm going to dynamically allocate it. Create VDI virtual box disk image. If you want to transfer this around you probably should use VMDK but I'm going to stick with default. Click next and like I said dynamically allocated. That means when it first starts out I don't know it might be about 10 gigabytes in size so it can grow up to 80 gigabytes. Click next. Here's where it's going to be located and I've got 80 gigabytes and click create. So now that it's created there's some things that I want to change. First up here in general I want to go to advanced and I want to set the shared clipboard to bi-directional and drag and drop to bi-directional. This way I can copy and paste things from the host machine to VirtualBox or also from VirtualBox or this Win11 back to the host. Click OK. Next thing I want to go to is system and I want to make sure two things. I've got a processor. It's got two CPUs at least. If you can give it more that'd be great but it needs at least two CPUs. I like to enable PAE NX. Go back to motherboard and make sure this enable EFI is checked. Again, click OK. Everything's OK here, pretty much on the uh, default settings. Let's go to display. And for display, I want to use graphics control of VBOX SVGA, enable 3D acceleration. Now, once I enable 3D acceleration, I don't know if you've noticed this, but this can go all the way up to 256 megabytes. Give it as much uh, video memory as possible. You may see during the running demonstration that it still glitches a little bit in VirtualBox. Click OK here. Go to storage. And this is where I load up the ISO. I click to the empty CD here, and then I'm going to choose a Win11 English 64 ISO here. Now, if you don't see this listed right here, then you're going to have to choose a disk file and choose it from where you stored your ISO. In my case, it's already here. Click that and click OK. And that's pretty much it for setting up the Win11 virtual machine. Next step will be to start the install. In this section, I'm going to Start the install. Make sure it's highlighted. And once it's highlighted, you can go up here and press this green arrow and it will start. Okay, press any key. Make sure you do that, otherwise, it won't keep running. And you'll see a VirtualBox logo. And so it asks to start the install. Now one of the things that you're going to have to do here is you're going to have to edit the registry because VirtualBox is not set up to run Win11. And actually my computer is not set up to run Win11. But by editing the registry, you can get Windows 11 to run. So in order to do that, what you have to do is Shift F10. And you get a command line. It says System32, so it's 32-bit. Go to Reg edit, hit enter. So now I've got the registry editor, and so I'm going to make some changes here. I go to H key local machine, scroll down here and go to system, keep going down here and go to setup, and then I'm going to right click on setup, click on new key and I'm going to rename it lab config so now here I'm going to right click again and I'm going to go to new D word 32 bit value click on that and I'm going to call this D word give it a different name here by Pass T P M. Check. Spelling is very important here. Hit enter. And we're going to have to modify the value of it. And current value data is zero. And we're going to change that to one. Leave it in hexadecimal. Click OK. So now I'm going to go back to lab config. Right click. New 32 bit D word again. And this one I'm going to call bypass. Bypass RAM check. 
And then I'm going to modify that again. Modify. Change that to 1. OK. So I'm going to go back down to Lab Config, and I'm going to do the last D word. Right click. New. D word, 32-bit value. And this time it will be by pass secure boot check. Make sure I got everything spelled correctly. OK. Enter. Then I'm going to, again, modify it. And value will be 1. Click OK. So I'm going to close the registry editor. Click Exit which is going to put me back to the command line. And I'm going to type in exit, hit enter. So that's it for the registry check. In the next section, I'm going to continue with the install. Check and make sure it's English or whatever language you want to install it in, and time and currency format and the keyboard input. Click Next. Now, one thing that I'm going to advise, and that's up to you, as Windows is installing, it goes to the Internet and... In this situation, I'm trying to make the install faster, so I'm just going to turn off the internet. Since this is a virtual machine, I simply go down to this icon right here and right-click on it. And click on Connect Network Adapter, and you'll see that this is grayed out. And if I click on it next time, you'll see that it's still got the same thing, but it's grayed out. So the network is off on this virtual machine. So let's just click Install Now. This non-network install is going to take about 15 minutes. Now it asks for a product key. Now in this situation, I don't have a product key yet, so I'm going to have to click right here. But if you have a product key, please enter it and click Next. And you get your choice of install here. In my case, I'm going to go for Windows 11 Pro and click Next. And then it asks for the uh, software license terms. and You've got several pages of uh, license terms there. So I'm going to click the checkbox and then click Next. You've got two options here. And since this is a raw or new virtual machine, it's custom install Windows only advanced. And click on that. And it says, where do you want to install? There's only one place. We only have one hard drive on this virtual machine. So all we have to do is click Next. And away we go. Now, I'm not going to run the video for the 15-minute install, but I'll let you see certain screens as we go along. Here we are at getting files ready for installation, around 88%. Here we are at installing features. Next thing up will be installing updates, but we won't be installing the updates because the network is down or the network is off. Now we're working on finishing up, and Windows needs to restart to continue. Here we are at getting ready. Here's the VirtualBox screen again. It appears to have restarted the second time. Just a moment screen. And here we go. One thing I'm going to do, I'm going to expand this. Oops, a little too much. Now, it asks, is this the right country or region? United States. I'm going to click yes. Kind of getting you set up to log in. Keyboard layout, US. You pick your own. Want to add a second keyboard layout? I'm going to skip this. It says Ethernet not connected. And I'm going to say, I don't have internet. And continue with limited setup. Yes. One of the things it really wants you to do is sign in with a Microsoft account, but you can try again. Be local. Try again. Okay. Well, here I go. Name and click next. What's a password? And then you've got three security questions. And I just pick one and just put an answer in there. Fill this out real quickly.
and you've got privacy settings. I'm going to click no for location, no for diagnostic data. And well, I'm going to include optional and inking and typing yes. And, and the rest of them, tailored expenses, advertising ID, no. And click accept. It's going to connect now or going to log in now, getting things ready for you. But as I was saying before, Microsoft's going to want you to log in with a Microsoft account. A lot of tech companies now want you to sign in with their account, and Microsoft is going the same way. But without the Internet, having a Microsoft account is not important here. You can see that we've gotten into Windows 11 without having the Microsoft account. But I'm going to turn on the network in a few minutes here once we get everything set up and running. So here we go. We're logged in, and this is what the screen looks like. Now, I know it's small now, but we're going to have to install guest editions first. So you'll notice the screen is fairly small. To fix this in a virtual machine, we're going to have to install VirtualBox guest editions. Go up here to the top left and click on Devices. Insert Guest Edition CD image. I'd like to choose what happens with this disk, and we're going to run it. Now, this is actually the first time I've practiced this that has come up. If it doesn't come up, what you'll have to do is actually go in to your file explorer and run it manually. And you won't allow this app to make changes to your device. Click Yes. Click Next. Next. Install. Install. And it's actually going to, oops, I thought I was going to actually do an automatic restart. Click Finish. Yes, it's actually going to do an automatic restart. After it restarts, we're going to have a larger screen. And we've got to wait some more. Okay, here we go. Click on the screen, enter your password, and you're logged in. Now, while we're waiting for it to log in, let's go up here to where it says View, select Adjust Window Size, and I guess that's not working, is it? Well, let's try this. Scaled mode, switch. There it goes, but it's got the wrong or the wrong display mode. So I'm going to get out of scale mode, control C, right control C, and now it's ready to go. Now you can play around with it and see how this works in VirtualBox. You can see this glitches even with 8 gigabytes. I'm going to turn on the uh, network here. Right click on it. Connect network adapter. And so it's going to be putting a lot more stuff in the computer. And let's see what we got now. So now we've got a lot of games and things like that. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go play Game of Solitaire. And you can figure out how to do this on your virtual box. See what you think of uh, Windows 11. Thank you.